Being an emotional person is very difficult sometimes because when you're happy, it's everything going well. It's nothing problem. It's in game, for example, or in, in your real life, for example, as well. But when you're very down and you're very sad or very angry or something, that can affect your team when you're playing and as well outside of the game. And the scene back then and now is just completely different and you just know that if you screw up here and maybe another tournament, it's fine because it's gonna come more. Back then it was like one every two months, three maybe. So it's like many things and many different factors that included in that period back then. There's actually no reason to why I'm sitting next, like, right or left on the line and when we're sitting as a team and uh, why did it put me there and so on. It's just more like I, I got randomly, I sat down randomly one day when I was younger and I was sitting there and uh, I was feeling like that's the spot to be emotional and like screaming and just like trying to help your team and pump them up when you're playing a big games and so on. So um, it's, it's harder from being the new player and you're chasing your dream because that energy is so much higher than you, you cannot really expect how much energy it is. Like, how are you going to pump yourself to become like one of the bigger stars back then and so on. So you were, you were fighting every single moment and you were playing games and you wanted to just become better and better than the rest and better than the pro players back then. And nowadays I've been a pro player for a long time. I know where I am, I know what I need to do and I know already the, the secret, if you can say like that, how to become successful and so on. So of course you slow down because you already just exceeded, like succeeded a lot of things already, and uh, it, it feels like I have a few goals left. It's not so many left on my list, but there's always new achievements that comes up and you add it up on the list. But back then it was maybe like 200 different things that you needed to succeed that you wanted to succeed personally. Maybe nowadays like 50 left, and it's, the list is getting smaller and smaller for each day that goes and. Which is nice because I've you been know, wasting half of my life on this game and being on tournaments and just traveling the world. And that's when I finish up my list before I stop playing.